Why does everyone ask how I'm feeling? I got done a huge deal. I got the election. I got ATN. I got plenty on my plate. Well, um, they sort of, you know, at the end of that season, they sort of became a unified front to try to take on that and the company, and you know, very quickly uh, <laughs> lost that one. Um. But I think within that they found that together there there is a strength, even though they lost that battle pretty quickly. I think there is a lot of strength to the three of them. Individually, they have certain strengths and clearly weaknesses, but I think together they can sort of call each other out on those things, and I think that they could work well as a team. I remember when we were shooting season three, and Kendall felt so the enemy to us, and like, my sort of pursuit with the character was to show dad that I'm the worthy successor and that we gotta get rid of this guy. And one of the best ways I could do that was showing how much I can get rid of him and he really, he was just the enemy. And I remember asking Jesse, I said, is there ever a part um, in their lives where they will be on the same side? And he goes, yeah, at the end of the season. And I was like, I, I felt like he spoiled it for me. I didn't, I, I couldn't imagine them reconciling so fast and uh, and then when they did it was like reading the script I remember thinking damn like how did he figure out how to do that to bring them together so quickly and have it make sense and I think that there's something just about them being family and having a history together and Roman in particular I think holds on to this like real sense of uh, family he's the middle of the three so I think he, you know, he remembers a lot of the childhood and probably holds on to these great ideas of like remembers mom and dad being together and what Christmases were like and Thanksgiving and things like that. And I think the idea of, yeah, you're my enemy, blah, 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 but I can say whatever I want because we're siblings and we're, we're eventually, we're all going to come together. We're all going to spend Christmases together. We're all going to, you know, it's, it's, we're going to be fine. And I think when we're actually, we acknowledge that and we all get together, we're pretty strong. And I think that's where this season starts us off is us you know, mm -hmm. being unified in that strength. Uh, yeah, I'm going to miss this whole experience. And then also just as a viewer and a fan, I'm going to miss the show. Like, I'm going to miss, we got 10 more weeks. We got 10 episodes left and then that's it. Uh, as a viewer, that that is a nice feeling to be left wanting more, but I also just kind of want more. <laughs> Start a petition, shall we? Ten more. Ten more episodes. I would have liked one more, and I think it could have, uh, but I also believe that Jesse deciding to edit now is the right call simply because he decided it, and he's he has the right idea. Why does everyone ask how I'm feeling? I got done a huge deal. I got the election. I got ATN. I got plenty on my plate. He's on the floor, Tom. Explain to me what he's doing. He's moseying, terrifyingly moseying. It's like if Santa...